Hello and good morning and welcome to another video. I've got Dean, Pete and Dale and we're on our way to Longley. It is a bit windy but it is quite warm. I've just had to peel my jacket off and we're currently heading towards that village I've just forgotten. Ditch it, that's the one. Ditch it. <laughs> yeah, I was late again. Let's just point that out. I was late again this morning. But I'm on two weeks leave now so hopefully I'll get some sleep and be on time. Right, so we're on Broome Road out of Bruton. We're heading up the climb which runs parallel to King Alfred's Tower, uh, to, up to the top of Gare Hill. And then we're gonna drop down on one of the uh, National Cycle Networks all the way to Maiden Bradley, which is a nice little road. And then we're on our way to Shearwater Lake. Hopefully. I really hope the cafe's open. We hope the cafe's open. We've checked, we're still not sure. <laughs> You do? Yep. Shall we just tell you now, just for all your fun, that we've just been tapping up there? We haven't been going I know. <laughs> well, that's what usually you're sitting down, taking out a picnic. <laughs> no, you've done very well. You've done very well. I could see how slow you were going. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find that, Dean? It's nice, nice. Not broken, Steady, is it? It's not broken. No, was, my was, legs are great for this, not broken, to be honest. It was broken the other day. I mean, it's not the first time I've done it, but that last bit, it ramps up to like 25% just before the end. I asked. I had no more. I'm glad it finished it. <laughs> that, that, that was it for me. It is a group. Is it worse than Draycott? Yes. Do you, you think so? I think it's the worst one we've got, yeah. Right, so Pete's had his rear derailleur fixed because we had issues with that. I've broken two bikes, so now I've got a new one. So we think all the bike problems have gone, but... What's that, Dean? Something's wiggling. <laughs> it shouldn't be wiggling. <laughs> Quick tighten up and we'll be off again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless it's threaded. Shouldn't speak too soon, do we? Okay, we're taking bets. Is the cafe going to be open? Yes. Yes? Here we are at Shearwater Lake Tea Rooms. They are open and there's a big sign that says Mr. Whippy here. Taking Bappen and Mr. Whippy. Sounds like a dreamy combination. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, you've not gone for a whippy anyway. What have you gone for? I've gone for a bacon baguette. Bacon baguette. I've gone for a coffee. Don't get too many barista coffees, so I've gone for a coffee and a bacon bap. Talk us through this new tattoo you've got. New tattoo. Oh, have you got one? <laughs> <laughs> Quite I well. might just get a permanent one. Yes. <laughs> you, you, oh, nice. You could get that permanently tattooed. It look exactly the same. Is that, what is that? It's just a sign of an amateur, isn't Fourth, it? Fourth cat tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've had quite a lengthy stop. Uh, we're refuelled, fed, watered, and now Longley. So we're going to go see if we can find some giraffes. Alright, so we're in the woods, up by Centre Parks, dropping down towards Longley, and it's looking pretty mega today. Bit yeah, busy. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Bit busy with mountain bikers, but they're not on the road, so they're not bothering us. Yeah, we've hardly had a car pass us today, really, have we? No. These are some exceptional roads to cycle on in our own Wiltshire, so uh, you definitely need to check them out. Down towards Corsley, 
past the main entrance and we're tucking in around the back because this is the actual cycle network and we're coming in uh, where the giraffes actually are. But fingers crossed we might get to see them today. Yeah, the Deborah, Nemus, and the giraffes are over there. Giraffes are over there. Do so you like hairy animals, Endel? It depends which one. <laughs> that one's called Joe. <laughs> Surprised to see cars down going through the park. I didn't think it was till the 4th of July that uh, zoos and places like this were open, but they're definitely open. There's definitely cars going round, and there's animals. And it looks like the giraffe are actually going to be there. Well, this is where the giraffe normally are. They're just just in this enclosure here, but they seem to have gone. He said he saw them just a minute ago. So, whether they've gone back in the house or not? This is the main car entrance. Um, when we first came, we weren't sure whether we could go in there, but we just have to cycle through and go straight, sort of that way. So here we are at the main entrance. The lions are just behind us through there. So we're not going that way. We're going to go down that way. Mm. Scared? <laughs> Terrified. After that they, they do roam along this fence. Right, so just over my left shoulder here is the exit from the wildlife park where all the cars are coming out. And uh, just up to the left is one of the another 100 climbs, I think it's called Park Hill. You know what number it is, Dean? 100, 102 or something like that. Goes straight up there. It's quite a steep one, but the only climb in the uh, official climbs that's got camels just down to the left of it. You see that, but there's some rain coming in. You just see it absolutely pelting down over there, over the woods. You can just see the, uh, the warden just over my left shoulder. He was very worried that we weren't going to follow the cycle path, and he just kept telling us off. We're following the cycle path. We're moving away now from the house, which is behind me, and cycling out along the lake. My first sportive was the Lionheart Sportive, which started and finished at Longley, and it was one of my first forays into mass riding. And I did a 65 mile ride that finished here. And I was absolutely dead when I was coming down, down this road, but to be cycling down with that big house in the background was just an immense finish. Even if it did take me six hours. <laughs> I was a big boy back then. And it was on the Carrera. Now Pete, take the jump. Yeah, big ramp. <laughs> Here we go. The last time the club did this ride, this is where it all went wrong. Steve Cox fell off coming through that gate. Robin got a puncture. Everybody but me, Pete and Dell got lost on the way home. It's right, by the way. As I'm talking about getting lost, they're all going the wrong way. <laughs> this way. But this turning up on the right is a back entrance into Longleat. And it's a bit more woody. And uh, last time I went down there, there were pheasants galore. But it's another way in. Access, but it is another national cycle network. Which thank you very much, Sustrans. You've done us proud again. Right, so we're just exiting with him, Ferrari. And I just wanted to point out to Steve Cox where he went wrong. Um, but he's probably not watching because he's not in this video. So somebody will have to tell him to watch this bit but as we leave with him Ferrari we're going right oh. Steve went straight on which took him all the way back to King Alfred's Tower oh. so it was right there Steve after with him Ferrari all right Pete's just stopping to change his GoPro battery as we're on our way into Upton Noble we've got a massive headwind coming back into Glasgow and our only consolation is most of it is uphill so it's not really gonna matter too much because Batcombe is very lumpy only last time you did Batcombe with a dodgy knee how was it not good. Not good. So you a long time to recover from that. So hopefully you'll enjoy it today. Um, Del and Dean have dropped us. Yeah, they don't even know where we're going either. No. Should we go that way? Should we, should we just wait, see how long they realise they don't know where they're going? Should we just go that way? <laughs> no, because that's back to King Alfred's Tower. <laughs> Darren's just got the dreaded notification on his iWatch that he's lost a calm. Yeah. 
Someone's out com hunting today. Easy come, easy go. I blame you that every time you come on the ride it rains, but as we're approaching the Glasby Festival site, that's the reason it's raining. It's because <laughs> it's festival weekend. So we'll let you off. I get the blame for everything. <laughs> it wasn't me who was late last week and I got the blame for that. Yeah, you, you weren't late today either. No, I wasn't. Well, she shouldn't have been late. It was across her from her house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's worse. <laughs> Oh, your disc brakes. Well, thanks for the ride, guys. Another yeah. epic ride. Oh, it's so good. I love yeah. that route. It's uh, really nice. It's a great route. Size. Yeah. Apart from that last bit. Though. <laughs> <laughs> and the bit where it rained. When we got oh, to the. Couple bits where it rained. It's dry yeah. now. It's, oh, it's dry everywhere, but it's raining at the festival site. Funny that. Oh, proper rain, that. So there we go, night 5k in the bag, right to Longleat, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Again, we will see you very, very shortly. I'm on leave now for two weeks, so hopefully a few videos. Uh, Pete and I got a few ideas, but we'll see what we can come up with. So I'll see you very, very soon.